Hi everybody, my name is Ella Mashiach and I'm a BI project manager. Today, I'd like to go over the new interface of Reporting Services 2008. We'll see what's new to the application and build a simple report. In SQL Server 2008, Reporting Services is set apart from the Business Intelligence Development Studio. If you'd like, you can still open a report designer from the bids, but one of the new things to Report Designer is that it is now standalone. It is no longer required that Visual Studio be installed on your PC for you to build a report. So let's go straight to the demo. So let's start Report Designer from its new place. I'm going to start All Programs, Microsoft SQL Server 2008, Reporting Services, Report Designer. You'll notice the icon is quite similar to that of Report Builder in SQL Server 2005. Also, you can see that the interface is similar to that of Office 2007 for the menus on the top. Now let's add a data source and a data set. I'm going to use AdventureWorks DW. And I've prepared a query in advance. You'll notice that in SSRS 2008, your data source and your data set will be on your left inside your data pane. Also, any parameters you may add to your report will be there as well. Now I'm going to go to the view menu and check for property pane and ruler. Ruler is also new to SSRS 2008. I'm going to the insert menu and clicking for table. As I grab the handle of the table, you can see me dragging it on the ruler. You can add data to your table in two ways. First, you can drag it from the data pane. I'm going to drag total product cost and add it to my table. Or the second way to add data, you can click on the little data tags inside your table and choose a field. I'm going to choose order quantity. Now I'd like to group on the data on the rows. I'm going to choose model name and drag it from the data pane to my row groups before my details group and let go. Now I'd like to add another group but this time let's do it another way. You can click on the group you already have and choose to add a group to it. It can either be a parent or a child group. I'm going to choose child group and group on the product name. I'll just copy that for the name itself of the group and click OK. We'll delete this column and I'd like to add a total for the groups I've got in my table. So I'm gonna click inside the details of the group and then right click to add a total after it. Same for the child group. For the total product cost I'd like to have its values in currency. So we can set the format to C and last but not least, we have a bit of styling to do. So I'm going to go to the header and choose its background to be red, the font white, and the font weight to be bold. This can also be done from the home menu. Let's preview our report.
So now that we have a basic report, let's save it. And from the main menu, you can publish it to the server. You just need to set the details for the report server URL. And it's deployed. So let's summarize the main points of what we've seen so far. Reporting services is set apart from the bits in SQL Server 2008. We saw how the new user-friendly interface enables us to add data to our control and group on that data in various ways. The new interface makes it easier for your analyst or developer to build reports and share them with other users. For further resources, please check out the Reporting Services 2008 site, along with the SQL Server 2008 site. For questions and answers, use the MSDN forum. And for samples you can download to your PC, use the Coplex site. My name is Ella Mashiach, and thank you for joining me in this session of First New Steps in SSRS 2008 where we built and deployed a simple report. Come and visit me in my blog for further information. Thank you and goodbye.